Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a, uh, a one-of-a-kind video. We've not done this before on my channel. Um, you guys are constantly asking me for a loadout video and what my airsoft kit looks like. So I thought, instead of me just sitting in front of the camera being a bit boring, this is going to be Hot Ones Airsoft ed Edition. I can feel it. <laughs> Is that a lot? No. No. I think you need to be dousing it. No, oh, chill, chill, relax. We're not dousing yeah, anything. Lemon herb. Lemon herb. Ah, it's just lemon herb. First of all, this is relax. Just no. do a test one. Just, just do a little test, test, yeah. Alright, that's nothing. Lemon herb. That was crunchy as fuck. Mmm. Ask me a question? Go on. The lemon herb's fine, mate. Okay, so one of the comments are, well, the top one is, what grenades do you use for airsoft? Alright, so the grenades I use are called Quake 8s from well Tectonic Extreme Airsoft. Best grenades in the in the game. I have one under each armpit and they have seven explosions? No. Uses. Seven uses. uses. They have seven uses, right? In, e in each side. So if I'm stacked upon a wall, I can throw it that way. If I'm stacked upon a wall that way. I can um, post it that way. So they are pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie, they're really good. But they're, they're literally the best grenades in the game. Like, I literally sneak them abroad, they're that good. Like, I just, I love taking them anywhere. Yeah. Clear out clear out entire buildings on your own, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so do I have another bite of? Yeah. My sauce. All right, so a little, like, nothing crazy, yeah? Do it on the end, so then you take a bite. That's a lot, and then, that's and then a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll be gone there. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> he needs some milk. <laughs> oh, he needs some milk. <laughs> so, a lot of questions we get as well about the new Norwich plate carrier. Uh, how, what do you think of it? Have you used it yet? Um, so, I'm actually going to have it as my main plate carrier for the foreseeable future. Over the Warrior? Over the LPC. Okay. The one that you run. You run, we both yeah, loved yeah, it. Yeah, we loved yeah. it, didn't we? The LPC, like, no Still qualms about it. it. Still love it. And I took all the stuff off the LPC put it on the North Plate carrier, and the weight difference immediately was insane. And I was like, okay, I can see what the hype is about. <coughs> that's a, that's a, I can feel, <laughs> I can feel it. What about the new, um, so like the breathable plates? Yeah, like, I was just about to that, thank you very much. No worries. <laughs> the, the hexagon holes in the plates, game changer. Um, there is a few things, but, I, that apparently it's actually my fault though. Like I said that you know where you unclip from the shoulder bits, mm -hmm. they dig into like your collarbones. Yep. But I haven't put there's like shoulder protective bits you can put on. Classic Nico. Classic me. I actually prefer it to my LPC and for price as well. Look, it's just made for airsoft. It's designed for airsofters. It's not designed to go into real real steel world scenarios. It's for performance. Being performing as an airsoft player, so they cut out all the bull and just left in all the good stuff. And that's a bit of me. I love. That's what I love. So mega. <laughs> It's a little bit naughty. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot, mate. <laughs> Everybody goes, that's a lot. <laughs> like, preferring his game. Yeah, Pip's face look. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you running a new battle belt. Mm. Nah. Um, it looks kind of sleek in design. Do you want to explain what it is? Uh. Um, so we're in the new Deadly Custers Battle Belt, uh, the Ridder and the Shooter Belt. <coughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, the Ridder Belt you can actually abseil down buildings with, so it's, it's just an insane bit of kit. And um, what I like about the most is that the... Uh, <laughs> 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 Uh, the holsters and stuff that attach to the belt, you can change the retention on them yourself and yeah. you customise the whole belt wherever you want. Also, the the holster, you can interchange them for different guns. <laughs> <laughs> so like if you got if you if you got a new gun in that, yeah. you can just get moulds made and then you can just go around the world, you can just change them in and out for nice. if you want to use it's nice. it's really good bit of kit and I heard they'll be coming out with a jungle jungle one as well. Oh, so yeah. if you're like, when we were in South Africa mm. and we were crawling, that is not battle belt territory, yeah. is it? Like, yeah. mounts to fall out. Yeah. Also, it's yeah. annoying yeah. as well, like that big, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they're going to be making like a, a jungle concept one. one yeah. 
So, yeah, I'll go get for my second one, aren't I? <sighs> he needs some milk! Banksy! Relax, man. Another guy asks, what iPro well, does the team use now? Yeah, right. Um, so... <sighs> so, um, we all run Blocks, which is a new company with an airsoft, but they've been in the fashion industry literally forever. And um, they uh, have very special lenses, which for two years, you don't need anti-fog wipes. They won't fog up. Whatever test you put them through, they won't fog up. I took them to South Africa. We took them to South Africa. Okay. I took them to Austria. Every time it was 30 plus degrees. Germany. Trust me, yeah, Germany. They don't fog up. Guys, we literally crawl through jungles with these things on. Like, do you remember those tall, yeah. like, the atmosphere in there is all kind of um, condensed yeah. and thick, it is. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's inside. So, um, they're, they are legit. And they, I've been rocking them for two years before. Uh, me and Block started working together and I actually wanted to keep them a secret because everyone would ask me like, oh, why didn't your eye pro fuck up? Well, yeah. there's the answer. They're called the Lynx Shooter Glasses. They're amazing. Uh, we're into the extra hot now. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, it literally says on the bottle, we salute you. <laughs> we salute you. With eyes streaming and mouth burning, you'll fall for fire that doesn't flinch from flavor. I don't know what that is. I was going to have that little bit there, just on the, on the edge. <laughs> Why not? What do you mean, bro? Oh. <coughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm in trouble. Ask me a question. Ask me a question, quick. So, where is on our hit list? Well, you're here just to play airsoft next. Um, it's hot in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> um, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. I think you should do it all. What the whole thing? Oh my god! <laughs> what are you shaking? Because my insides are burning, bro. So I used to run the Akus, but I felt like they really compressed my feet. Yeah. Uh, width wave, maybe I just got... God, hell. Yeah. This, is, this is hot, mate. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. I don't do this, but... Um, <laughs> um, but one thing at the moment, I can't stop wearing are the lowers, the desert lowers. They are so comfortable. Really comfortable. Guys, desert... <coughs> <laughs> desert lowers. Desert lowers, mate. Yeah. You've used all sorts of guns. You've used gas blowback. You've used HPA. You've used AG. Mm. Uh, what's your favourite like style to use? That's a good question. That was well done. That, that's a good one. That's a great question. That's a great question. All right, so you've got a mixture of things. Like if you want a challenge, definitely GBB. But if people aren't calling the hits and you've only got 30 rounds per mag and it takes about seven years to load a mag. <sighs> you know, it depends what mood you're in. GBB if you want a challenge, plus they sound sexy yeah. and, and that you can dress them up really nice. Yeah. And you've got the limited BBs. Yeah, AG um, from UmbrellaArmy.eu, which I've got here. Literally the Ferrari of, of airsoft guns. Um, I'll be honest with you, we had some hiccups at the start, but they have really fine-tuned this this OCAR, which stands for Overly Customised Airsoft Weapon Toy Gun nice. YouTube. Don't know that. Toy nice. Gun, Toy Gun YouTube, you know that. You know that. Right. It's just an absolute machine. Uh, you, you pull the trigger, the BB's already hit the person. Like, its response time is insane. You can only feed these guns with G and G BBs, guys, okay? Anything else and it won't feed. It's like an F1 car, okay? It'll only run on a certain fuel, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is from Swift Airsoft. This is a gas blow black um, Scar H. Uh, some people like to call it the Ugg boot because the bottom of the stock looks like an Ugg boot. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to make some videos of this. This is pretty dope. And obviously for HPA, me lovers, Wolverine. Wolverine NTWs are just like when you want to show up and show out. It's super reliable. It's never going to break on you. You can put any BBs through it. Take it anywhere, whatever environment. If it's throwing it down, it's going to perform like... It's just like the, it's just like a veteran of airsoft guns. Like it'll get the job done no matter what. It's also good for like silent players, isn't it? Yes, it's a good point, Perry. Because the difference between an AG, this one's actually quite quiet compared. But AGs, they notoriously like they whine. They're like wah mm. wah, yeah. don't they? When you fire around yeah. with the Wolverine, with the HPAs and the Wolverines, you can literally sneak up on groups of people and they're just not going to know you're there. Even especially with the carbon fiber suppressors. Yeah. Even in the same sort of room, yeah. I don't even know where it's coming. Yeah. It's um, it's a bit of an assassin, an assassin gun, so uh, uh, that's the difference between all these guns. They all have different uh, char characteristics. Like, you know, if you want to really um, test yourself and, you know, people are going to hear you coming, just like a real steel gun, GBB. Um, if you want to feel what, what ultimate performance is like in an AEG, Umbrella Armoury. And if you want a kind of an all-rounder, Wolverine NTW. Uh, like the NTW, you know, <coughs> it has its flaws, the line, the line... It's something you have to get used to. Roughly. A good budget, a good budget airsoft gun, I think, is like G and G combat machine, mm -hmm. something like that. Like it's like two hundred. Yeah, it's one of my first guns. Like it's like two hundred odd quid, something yeah. like that. Uh, for pistols at the minute, I'm running the Combat Master Taran Tactical, and um, with a red dot laser on it. I don't know if you can see YouTube. It's a toy. Relax. All right. Um, it's 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 just yeah, really cool, really nice not too heavy and I really enjoy having the red dot laser on there um just saves your time acquiring targets instead of having to look through the sights or anything like that it's just it's, it's just it's just meta yeah okay <laughs> I'll just use these ones do some more milk no I'm good let's just get that let's, let's get that nice and on there I'd say chin chin pair but you ain't having none are you no nice dogs all right <coughs> I'm gonna make it home. There'll be a little brown trail all the way to home. <laughs> um, uh, not after it's gonna be a f***ing So you've recently acquired a new set of gloves. Yeah. Uh, I believe you bought them in South Africa. We did, yeah. Yeah, so um, explain what they are. So, uh, I'm wearing mechanics at the minute. One, they just look a bit different because everyone runs pigs. The great gloves. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I like to run... <coughs> The reason why I like to run, uh, I can't feel my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my lips. <coughs> we need space protection. Woo! Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, gloves on it. We're talking about gloves. Gloves. Uh, so the pigs are really good. Everyone knows about them. The reason why they're so good is that they're so thin and they've got the grips in all the right places that you can you can just feel the admin around you like your your mags. Uh, if you want to go to like an admin patch around the back, just general admin in regards to reloading, picking stuff up, putting stuff down. Guys, I don't understand people, they run these contact gloves with big, thick, bulletproof knuckle bits here. Like, it just gets in the way, it's added weight. You want like nice, thin gloves. I also like to have full dexterity as well, so I chop off the fingers. This to do with reloading, picking stuff up, putting stuff down. So, the thumb, index fingers, I, don't, I chop off those bits. Obviously, not my actual like the, <laughs> the gloves. <laughs> what sort of like face protection do you use? Because you've got gum shield, you've got balaclava. Yeah. What sort? Of... So there's a lot of floating around in the market at the minute, like the Delta mics, uh, the big yeah. new pro ones, which they, they, they do kind of look good at this kind yeah, of yeah. setup. Yeah. But they are kind of newbie, let's be honest. That's what you wear when you first start to airsoft. <coughs> <coughs> so uh, it's called MB. It's MB. Like MB balance or something, or right, okay. uh, it's you'll see in the cinematics. But it's just a thin uh, face guard. All this will be linked down below, guys, so you can find it all. Okay, um, it's like a a thin face guard that actually goes under your balaclava and doesn't attach to anything. It just sits there and it protects all the good stuff. Um, guys, protect your teeth. I had the back of my tooth shot out, and these day and age, getting a, a tooth replaced costs a couple of a couple of racks. So unless you're you know you don't care, you got loads of money then. But uh, 
Yeah, you don't want to be losing, losing teeth, man. So wear face pro, wear face protection. So when Kiki Mustang shoots you in the head, you're not going <laughs> to cry about it, yeah? <laughs> All right, wear face pro. And my balaclava literally just got off Amazon, a uh, 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 NTP black one, yep. and a uh, multicam black. And I've just loved it so much. It fitted my frame really nice. I've just not replaced it. All right, so, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> God, my ass is going to be an absolute turbo tomorrow. You ready? Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You good? Go, 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 go. Okay, so another question a lot of you are asking as well about where do, well, me and you use oh, yeah. the same lids, yeah. so where do we get our lids from? Like, what are they? Yeah, so uh, these are Team Wendy Repros uh, from High Go Operator. Um, he custom sprays the frames. Uh, these are contacts that, that came from it as well. So he basically came, the, the helmet came to order. Mm. Contacts, um, what's the, this helmet called again? Uh, oh, can. Uh, oh, I know Agilite. 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 Helmet cover, which holds, you'll see, they'll see it on the cinematics anyway. They'll see it on the cinematics. Um, the Agilite helmet cover, which holds the Anchor power back battery, which, the power bank battery, which uh, charges the GoPro so you can record all yep. day. And um, the reason why I like this helmet, it's got a slight lip that goes up, so it kind of looks like a cap a little bit, which I think is cool. And, uh, <coughs> Doesn't get in the way, does it? <coughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my, I will leave links. I can't think straight. This is like hacked my brain. All the links, <laughs> all the links to all my kit is gonna be in the description down below. Okay, so you guys can go straight down and you can run the same kit that I run. Any questions? I will reply in the comments. Okay. Uh... Oh, that's enough. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. See you guys next time. Make it to the end. Ugh. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> gross. Are you cut it out, huh? I turn it back on. <laughs>